Well, welcome back to our video devotions. Tonight, we are going to continue our new study as we take a look at what the Bible has to say about fear and worry. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about a story where Paul was sitting in the middle of jail, and yet he still had peace. In the midst of a very, very hard situation, Paul knew that God was with him. Paul knew that God was by his side, and he knew that God still loved him. And so even though life was hard, Paul had joy. Paul had peace. Well, tonight we're going to take a look at a new story, one where the disciples faced a really hard storm themselves. Their storm was a thunderstorm. So let's read Mark 4, verses 35 through 41 and see what happened. The Bible says, On that day when evening had come, he told them, Let's cross over to the other side of the sea. So they left the crowd and took him along since he was in the boat, and other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking over the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. He was in the stern, sleeping on the cushion, and that's Jesus. So they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to die? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Silence, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then he said to them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? And they were terrified and asked one another, Who then is this? Even the wind and the sea obey him. Now the disciples, like I said, were in the middle of a really bad thunderstorm. So I want you to take a minute and think about a storm that you have faced before. A thunderstorm. Have you ever been in one that where you're sitting inside your house and all you can hear is the wind just howling outside, maybe rattling your windows? Or maybe there's this clap of thunder and it shakes the entire house. Or it's the middle of the night, you're in the, your bedroom, you've got the lights out, and all of a sudden that flash of lightning lights up the entire room. How do you feel in the middle of those thunderstorms? Well, you're probably scared. You might even be a little bit terrified in those moments because it can be scary when you're in the middle of a thunderstorm. Well, for the disciples, it was a lot worse than most thunderstorms that we face. They were in a wooden boat on the middle of the sea as the storm was happening around them. It's not like they were sitting in their house with a thunderstorm outside. They were in the middle of the storm, and they were terrified because they didn't know what was going to happen. They thought they were about to die. Water was coming into the boat. They thought it was going to sink from all of that water. The wind was crazy, and it was actually tearing apart other boats that were close by. So that's what they were seeing, and they thought, oh, man, the same thing's about to happen to us. Well, the cool thing is Jesus was on the boat, but Jesus was asleep on the boat. So he knew the storm was happening, but Jesus wasn't scared. I mean, Jesus created the wind. He created the rain. He created the waves. He wasn't scared of what they could do because he was God. So he was just sleeping on the boat. And the disciples came and woke him up and said, Jesus, do you not even care about us? Don't you realize that we're all about to die and you have done nothing to help us? What's going on? And Jesus just simply stood up. He said, silence, be still. The wind, the rain, the waves, they all stopped. The storm was over and everything was okay. And he looked at the disciples and he kind of got on to them. He said, oh, you have little faith. Why didn't you believe me? Why didn't you trust me? Did you forget how powerful I really am? And that's what happened. They had forgotten who Jesus was. They had forgotten what Jesus could do. They did not trust that Jesus could save them. And then it says at the very end, they were terrified to think that, wow, he can even control the wind and the waves. They were amazed by how powerful Jesus was. Well, I think we are like the disciples a lot of times. We face situations in life, really difficult situations. It could be thunderstorms like in the story. It could be the coronavirus that we're all facing right now. And a lot of times we forget how powerful God is. We forget that he's the creator who created everything that we see. We forget that he's in control of everything. If he created it, he's also in control of it. And God is ready to help us whenever we need him. We saw that with Paul last week sitting in the middle of prison. We saw that again tonight with the disciples in the middle of a thunderstorm. And no matter what storm you may be facing right now or a storm that you've faced in the past, you need to remember that God is still with you. God still loves you. God is still there 
ready to help you, but you've got to have faith. You've got to believe in him and believe that he is capable of helping you in the middle of life's difficult situations. So my encouragement for you tonight is that no matter what you may be facing right now or what you may face in the future, never forget that God is with you. Never lose your faith in God like the disciples did in this story. Trust that the same God who created everything you see loves you and is there to take care of you. The same God who controls everything around you every single day will do the same thing even in the midst of life's storms. The same God who sent his son to die on a cross and rise again so that you can be saved, loves you, and wants to provide salvation for you. And if he's going to take care of that biggest problem you have, which is the problem we all have with sin, then God's going to take care of all the other problems that you may face in life. So put your faith and your trust in God and never forget that God is with you. Now I have a couple challenges for you tonight. And the first one is this. I want you to retell tonight's story. Maybe you draw a picture, share that picture with us and what you learned tonight. Maybe you just retell the story in your own words, you sitting in front of a camera. You might even wanna act it out with some of the people in your house, or you could do it by yourself and act out tonight's story for all of us to see. And maybe you think of something completely different. However, you wanna retell the story, do that tonight for us. The second challenge is you can memorize Mark 4, 39. It says, he got up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, silence, be still. The wind ceased and there was a great calm. Memorize that verse, film yourself saying it, post it in the comments as well. I uh, hope to hear back from all of you. We will keep doing these devotions as long as we are out of church. I hope you're all having a great week. Love you guys and see you soon.